Let's talk about how to add a custom domain to your Netlify site in just five minutes. What's up everyone? My name is James Q. Quick and I do weekly videos on web development related topics. And in this video, as I said, I'm gonna share with you how to add a custom domain to your Netlify site. Now, first off, what is Netlify? Netlify is one of my favorite hosts for a lot of different types of site. Static sites, you can do uh, Next.js and Remix, which we'll talk about in a second. Svelte Kit, you can host a ton of different sites on Netlify. You have serverless functions, you have forms, you have amazing set of functionality, and it's one of the easiest ways to get up and going hosting your website. But for free, you get a .netlify.app, I think, domain. So if I look inside of uh, this website, uh, this website is available at this random name .netlify slash app. And what is this website? Well, this is a project that I'm working on called devyearbook.io. We'll see that domain here in a second. And it's basically a learn slash build in public effort for me over the next couple of months where I'm gonna build out this dev yearbook application, basically a way to kind of register event pages for conferences and then have people share photos and images or photos and images, photos or images, it's the same thing. And then leave comments and kind of see the people that they met during that conference so they can go back and remember who they met and networked with. Uh, so that's the idea. And then right now this is a build in public thing. So this landing page is just a bare bones, barely styled, sign up for the newsletter. I'll send you updates about what I'm working on and things I've learned, et cetera. So uh, what we wanna do is add this custom domain. So I had this domain already set up in Namecheap. I think it's like $10 a year is what I paid for it. So it's devyearbook.io. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this from being uh, the DNS on Namecheap to now using a custom DNS. So let's go through Netlify and set this up. So inside of our site, we go to domain settings. We can add a custom domain. You can also change uh, the basic site names. We could call this dev yearbook. That's built in with Netlify. So this gets not a custom custom domain, but it's devyearbook.netlify.app, which is close. And then now we can add our custom domain, which is devyearbook.io. So we'll add that in there. We'll go to verify. It says this is already registered. That's because we already bought it. So let's add it. And then uh, what we want to do, and this is the step that I was kind of missing when I did this recently, is to set up Netlify DNS. This is going to make sure that Netlify knows that it's the one that should handle the DNS. So go to verify for this domain uh, already registered. Yes, we're good with that. We'll go to uh, gives us the option to add extra DNS records. We don't need that right now, so we can go ahead and continue. And then all we need to do is take these four things and copy them over to uh, the custom DM DNS settings inside of Namecheap. So I'm gonna paste in, uh, paste in, and paste in. And these just need to be updated to be two and three and four. Uh, so then we'll save that. We'll come back after it's saved. There we go. Come back to Netlify, say, hey, we're done. Uh, looks like uh, the SSL stuff needs to kind of load. We'll see this in a second. If we come back up though, you see that we have the Netlify DNS kind of loaded here. So it looks like those two things are connected. And then let's just give this a refresh. And we're still having this issue, which is okay. I'll show you why in a second. I think this is because for demo purposes, I've gone through and done this uh, two or three times in a row. And it's like, you're doing this a little bit too much, but that should just pick up and work for you. And actually, if we uh, check out dev your book, uh, .io, this is actually working. And um, you can see that the icon and the HTTPS is there. So the certificate is actually working. It's there. Uh, all that stuff is ready. So that's how you set up a custom domain in Netlify in just five minutes. If you're interested in following along this build with Remix, Planet Scale as a database, Prisma as an ORM, Tailwind as styling, and then Netlify as the host, uh, you can now sign up for updates at uh, devyearbook.io. So if you're interested in following along, sign up there. I'll have content on this channel and on the Planet Skill YouTube and Twitch channel. So make sure to check out the content there as well. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. If you have additional questions about setting up domains in Netlify, leave those in the comments below. Appreciate you watching and I'll catch you in the next one.